Hi boys and girls. Today for math, we're going to learn all about measurement. What does it mean to measure? When we measure, we compare objects to figure out which one is shorter or longer. We might want to see which object is shorter and which one is taller, or we might even want to find out which one is heavier and which one is lighter. We can use tools such as cubes, blocks, paper clips, or rulers to find out how tall or long objects are. You can see below that my pencil, I used cubes to measure that and it is four cubes tall. We can also use a tool called a scale to figure out how heavy or how light something is. So let's talk about shorter and longer. When we are measuring from side to side, we're measuring the length of objects. When we compare two objects to decide which one is shorter and which one is longer, we have to make sure that our objects both start at the same place. So you can see that I made a line to make sure that my pencil and my glue stick both started at the same place. I put them both on the line so they start at the same place. And the object that ends sooner and does not stick out as far is called the shorter object. So you can see by looking that my glue stick does not stick out quite as far as my pencil does. So we would say that my glue stick is shorter and my pencil is longer. Now let's talk about shorter and taller. When we are measuring objects up and down, we're measuring the height of objects. When we compare two objects to decide which one is shorter and which one is taller, we again have to make sure that they both start at the same place. So I have another line for my objects to make sure that they both start at the same place. And the object that ends sooner and does not stick up quite as high is called the shorter object. So if we take a look at my dump truck and my teddy bear, we can see that my dump truck does not stick up quite as high or as tall as my teddy bear does. So we would say that my dump truck is shorter and my teddy bear is taller. Now let's talk about heavier and lighter. We are measuring the weight of objects when we talk about heavier and lighter. We wanna see how heavy objects are. We can use a balance scale to help us see which object is heavier and which one is lighter. We can place one object in each bucket of the scale and the bucket that's holding the heavier object is going to go down, while the bucket that's holding the lighter object is gonna go up in the air. So we can see that my tape is heavier because that side of the scale went down, and my lemon is lighter because that side of the scale went up in the air. Last, let's talk about how we actually measure using some tools like cubes. So first we have to choose our measurement tool for. For example, for this um, activity, I chose cubes for my measurement tool. We have to make sure that we line our cubes up from the beginning of the object all the way to the end. We have to make sure the cubes are in a straight line with no spaces in between them. And we have to make sure all of the cubes are the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring my pencil using my cubes. I'm gonna put my cube line it up exactly where my eraser is. And then I'm gonna bring another cube and I'm gonna put it right next to the first cube. And I'm gonna keep doing this with no spaces in between the cubes until I get all the way to the end of the pencil. I'm making a straight line and I am lining it up from one side of the pencil to the other. I have a cube left over here, but I actually don't need it because I already got to the end of my pencil. So if I count, I can see one, two, three, four, five cubes that I used. So we would say that my pencil is five cubes long. Boys and girls, I hope that this video helped you understand more about measurement, and I hope that you enjoy doing the measurement choice board activities. 